You might have come across a video and content about getting listings with no budget. And there are some great tips out there without a doubt. For example, you may hear that you can do prospecting around uh, recent sales and then piggyback, uh, piggyback on the momentum in the market and start knocking on neighbor stores next to the property that just got sold. You can also do this over the phone and like in door knocking, face to face. Another tip is prospecting uh, FISBOs if the properties you are tracking haven't sold after let's say more than 60 days. The next tip you might hear is going after expired listings. This might happen when a listing, when a listing gets overpriced in a seller's market. So the situation might give you an opportunity to go after such expired listings and repackage and reposition the property. Sure, you might have to do some more convincing with the owners since they might be disappointed with the realtor they used before. And as a last tip, you might have heard about sending out CMAs to your database. This is basically in the overall, con overall context of past client marketing and uh, prerequisite is obviously that you have already a database of leads and or past clients. In one of my recent articles on hackingrealestatemarketing.com I also mentioned another method that could be classified as a listing acquisition method with no budget and it's getting free leads where you only pay when you close a deal when you only close a deal. Well, I link uh, to this article in the description of this video but now I have a question for you. Do you think all the tips I've just mentioned don't need any, any budget or let me put it differently? Do you think there is a marketing method out there in this world with no cost involved at all? I mean, you can't even die for free in this world. So uh, it always costs something. It's either your time or your money. So if you hear someone talk about free this or without any budget that, uh, you can be sure that the cost will be your time. You can even convert the time you will spend doing a free listing acquisition method into money and then calculate the money it will cost you. What you can do is determine the value of your time. So you may ask yourself, what is one hour of my time worth? This is actually something you might want to do anyways because it also helps you to determine if you want to outsource a certain task. Let's say your hour is worth $100. In the case of the example of cold calling expired listings, you might find a great cold calling freelancer that charges $30 per hour. In this case, a sound decision might be to outsource this task. There's a great book called The Leverage Equation, which I highly recommend, where the general rule of thumb is that you may want to outsource tasks that can be bought at hourly rates below yours. In the book, there is also an interesting example of how you can calculate the value of your time based on your annual income goal. First, you need to determine what your annual income goal is, after taxes, unfortunately, then you calculate the number of hours you want to work by multiplying the number, number of hours per day that you want to work by the days you want to work per week by the number of weeks you want to work per year. This, this product will give you the total hours you want to work to achieve that income level. In step three, you divide the total hours into the income goal to get your hourly rate. And even in the final step, you divide 60 into your hourly rate to get the value of every minute in your day. So um, I will end this video with a short practical example of this. Let's say you want to make $200,000 per year after taxes as a realtor, assuming a 20% tax rate. This would mean you need to make $250,000. You also don't work 10 hours a day, but you only five and five days per week. This would be five hours per five days by four weeks, resulting in 100 hours per month and 1,200 hours per year. Now let's divide $250,000 by 1,200 hours and that's $208 for the value of your hour. The value of your minute could be, would be $3.50. I hope this number crunching example gives you a bit of inspiration. What I wanted to show you with this is, and here I also sum this video up is, you don't want to lose sight of the value of your time when it comes to tips and marketing methods 
that are promoted as free or without any budget. Well, okay, I guess that's it for today. I hope you found this video inspiring. And if so, please give me a thumbs up and share this video. Okay, until next time, bye bye.